God has gone up with the shouts. The Lord has sounded the trumpet. We meet in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Grace, mercy, and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you. And also with you. Please be seated. And just to say, we won't be having all the readings in the psalm, so skip the relevant pages, please. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, for 40 days we have been celebrating with joyful hearts the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, his bursting from the tomb and his defeat of the power of sin and death. He appeared to his disciples many times, and he told them about the kingdom of God. So today we recall how he left this earth and returned to his Father, ascending into heaven to take his throne over all dominions and powers, trusting in his reign over all creation and submitting to his kingly yet loving rule. Let us hear the story of his party. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. While staying with them, he ordered them not to leave Jerusalem but to wait there for the promise of the Father. This, he said, is what you have heard from me. For John baptised with water, but you will be baptised with the Holy Spirit not many days from now. So when they had come together, they asked him, Lord, is this the time when you will restore the kingdom to Israel? He replied, It is not for you to know the times of all periods that the Father has set by his own authority. But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, in all Judea and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. When he had said this, as they were watching, he was lifted up, and a cloud took him out of their sight. While he was going, and they were gazing up towards heaven, suddenly two men in white robes stood by them. They said, Men of Galilee, why do you stand looking up towards heaven? This Jesus, who has been taken up from you into heaven, will come in the same way as you saw him go into heaven. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Jesus, the Son of God, let us offer him the praise worthy of his name. Glory, Glory to God in the house, and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heaven and Almighty God and Father, we, we worship you, we give you thanks, we, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit. In the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray that our risen and ascended Lord will lead us into eternal life. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that as we believe your only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, to have ascended into the heavens, so we in heart and mind may also ascend 
and with him continually dwell, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Please be seated. Jesus. 
The church can't move forward without first looking back. <coughs> I'm going to look back for a minute to a time when I was probably about five or six. I used to visit my grandma and then walk up to the road to my great grandma, or as we called her, Nana Taylor. And there wasn't a lot to do in her house. She didn't have lots of toys, she didn't have lots of things you would expect grand great grandchildren to play with, but she had things that were much better. We liked playing with the pots and pans, we liked playing on with various different kitchen implements. But my favourite was when we were making too much noise, she put us into the front room and gave us a big tea tray and a box of dominoes. Now, to a six year old, a tea tray and a box of dominoes is gold because. We didn't play dominoes. We set up what's called a domino rally. Has anyone ever set up a domino rally? Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, they've since, with YouTube and social media, we've got people setting up hundreds of thousands of these things. We probably had about 30, but we would spend hours throwing little tiny runs of dominoes across this tea tray in different patterns. And then one of the fighting over who's going to press the first one down, <laughs> then not the rest of them all the way around. That's how I feel about ascension. Jesus is, is telling them, you're going to get power so that, that first dominant gets knocked down and it sends the rest out all throughout the world. If there is anything like a blueprint for mission, it's like that, but it starts with God, and in this case, the events in Jerusalem, and it works its way out from there. Of course, the ascension also confirms Jesus' divinity once again, if the city of resurrection hasn't been enough. And it's something that we need to pay attention to. As I say, Jesus prepares to ascend and gives them an overview of the gospel, asking them to look back so that they can then move forward, opening their minds to the scriptures so that they understand more about who he is and what their task is moving forward. He then speaks to the moment. They are witnesses. They are agents of change. And through the Holy Spirit, the movement of the gospel will start a chain reaction, a domino rally of faith. So today we celebrate Jesus' return to the Father. We're reminded that we too are part of that domino rally of faith. An integral part of Christ's kingdom here on earth. A kingdom which is not yet complete. We haven't got to the end. Of the domino rally. We've been past the baton or a link in a chain or that first domino that passed on to us and so we continue to hold the message of Jesus, the message of hope, forgiveness and transformation and we run with it. Today we pray that we will one day ascend to be with Christ. What good news that is for our ultimate destination but we're not supposed to be there yet. We have a job to do. I love the way the angels say, Men of Galilee, why do you stand looking up towards the heaven? Basically, he's gone. He'll be back. But now you need to concentrate on the task ahead of you. I reflected on the sharp contrast between the ascension and the transfiguration, where in both Mark and Luke's gospel, we see Peter trying to capture the event, wanting to build tents and hang around. Here is a complete opposite. They don't want to hang around. They're to be off the mountain, down to Jerusalem, in joy and worship that they might wait on God for the promise of the Spirit. They are the beginnings of a movement that will need a catalyst to take them further, but will continue in movement nonetheless. But for now, they must wait. They must take a breath. Because the Holy Spirit is coming, like the finger that pushes the first domino down. That anticipation for movement is what I feel tonight. That anticipation for movement, which is kicked off at Pentecost. So we celebrate today the ascension, and we wait. Let's pray. Lord God, as we look back and we look forward, we're reminded of how difficult it is at the moment to look back even over the past 12 months or so. We have many questions about what's next. If we're 
honest, it's hard to look for. But Lord, we pray for the gift of your Spirit. That we would be witnesses to your good news. That we would be part of that domino rally of faith. A link in a chain, a baton to the star. We pray for the strength and the inspiration to do those things. All this we ask in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. So I invite you to stand as we join together to say in the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven. Let us join our prayers with those of our Saviour Christ, seeking the Father's blessing and the gifts of the Spirit. Jesus Christ, pray to the Father. Jesus Christ, send us the Spirit. Glory to the King of Kings, glory to the Lord of Lords, glory to Him who has ascended, O risen and ascended Christ, all authority in heaven and earth is yours. We proclaim you as our Lord. We offer you our love. We give you our whole lives. Lord, may we enter into your kingdom and be with you in glory. Jesus Christ, pray to the Father. Jesus Christ, send us. Glory to you, O Lord, for Christ risen and ascended, King of kings, come Lord in our hearts. Make us part of your kingdom. Ascended Christ, send us out to proclaim you to the nations. Let your church reveal your glory. In your power, let us uplift all who are down and despairing. We pray for all who have lost vision or hope. Jesus Christ, pray to the Father. Jesus Christ, send us the Spirit. May we let the King of glory rule in our lives, that the kingdoms of the world may become his kingdom. We pray for a reign of peace and love upon the earth a deepening fellowship between nations and peoples. We pray especially tonight for the people of Palestine and Israel. Jesus Christ, pray to the Father. Jesus Christ, send us the Spirit. Lord, let us see that your love rules in our hearts and homes. We pray for all who give hospitality to others, for those caring for visitors and strangers. We pray for the hospitality industry as it starts to reopen post-COVID. We remember those who are homeless. Jesus Christ, pray to the Father, 
Jesus Christ, send us the Spirit. We pray for all who have fallen into sin and evil, for all who have fallen upon, upon bad times, for all who have fallen into sickness, that in you they may be uplifted and rise above that which would bring them down. We pray for loved ones who are ill and for all who have the care of them. And in a moment of silence, we name those on our hearts to you now. Jesus Christ, pray to the Father. Jesus Christ, send us the Spirit. We rejoice with all who are in the fullness of your kingdom, with all who have triumphed over suffering and death, and pray that we may share with them in your glory. Jesus Christ, pray to the Father. Jesus Christ, send us the Blessed be God, by whose grace creation is renewed, by whose love heaven is opened, by whose mercy we offer our sacrifice of praise. Blessed be God forever. If you wish, you may sing. Of bread and wine 
may lead to us his body and his blood. Who in the same night that he was betrayed, took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me.
You have raised our humanity in Christ and have fed us with the bread of heaven. Mercifully grant that, nourished with such spiritual blessings, we may set our hearts in the heavenly places through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. We thank you, Lord, that you have fed us Alleluia, Alleluia. 